going to give this one more second before I get started. Got like 10 million like notifications from YouTube I had to clear off too, so that was convenient timing. Anyway, I'm Clyde with PT3D and today I'm going to do wish buying. Yep, I seem to be focused right on wish buying stuff and so today we're going to figure out exactly what I purchased on wish. So take it or leave it, this is kind of a, a thing I guess I'm going to be doing. Um, I can say this is kind of 3D printing related. This is the idea behind getting this to begin with was to see if I could get any usable parts that I might be able to tear apart on this thing and convert into my own drone uh, for reasons that I work with uh, some other smaller organizations that are non-profit and really don't have a lot of money to spend on drones so if I could get any parts off of this it would make it worthwhile so let's jump into this and I will show you what I got okay I have horrible cameras um, anybody watching this channel before probably already knows that so I apologize in advance ah. This is what I got from Wish. Like I said, not the best cameras in the world. <laughs> um, it's a drone. It is this drone. So, it's an Aurora Promises and two megapixel HD camera, which I'm beginning to think really doesn't mean much. Um, came with an easy access hole already in it. Thankfully this thing is in a uh, block of styrofoam, which you can kind of see like right here. But has foldable arms, 2.4 gigahertz series, headless mode, one key return, gyro system, HD camera, and altitude hold. Cool. Um, <clears throat> model is number S25. There you go. Oh, it's a high performance quadcopter. It says it right there. It must be true. So I'm going to put that off to the side for now. What I'm going to show you real quick, like, on my other window here, if I can find it. Gotta move stuff around. I'm gonna bring this up. This is the exact one that I purchased. Bloop. Okay. Now I did the episode yesterday about kind of focusing on scams a little bit, but today I'm gonna focus on what the actual product looks like. Now there's a reason why I was pointing out some of the things that I noticed on the other quad in my other video, and that is because you pay attention to the dome. Pay attention to the decals. All right, the lights, believe it or not, are the same. I will show you that. Um, this looks like the decal version. It's got a little button on top, which uh, this is kind of the uh, whole, you know, pop it removable battery. Um, like I said, this is supposed to be the DJ Mavic um, clone, so. This is the, like I said, this is the exact one. Now, this is the actual model that I received right here. <clears throat> so, just to give you kind of an idea what I'm talking about. And I did, I got a sort of version like this. Um, which I will also show you. Um, apparently, like I said on the video yesterday, there's like three different versions of this. So, without further ado, I want to tear apart the thing that's broken. Okay, and this isn't a slam fest on, uh, 
um, wish or anything. Um, they did refund my money. Um, they actually got back to me really quick about this. So, first, this is the actual drone itself. Um, brought a scale. Uh, this does not have the battery installed. So you'll laugh when I show you that. Okay, so the actual weight of this unit is 4.1 ounces. Without the battery, 4.1 ounces. Um, for comparison purposes, this water bottle that has just enough water under this rim here weighs 5.4 ounces. Okay, so mostly empty water bottle is heavier than the drum. Not a surprise. I'm not, again, not saying that's a bad thing. What I will show you is this is, it does actually lock into place. I've been, there were some other videos I've seen where it said that these didn't snap into place. It's not a stiff connection, but it does work. Um, it's, it's chintzy. One of those dollar store kind of toys, I guess. Um, if you look here, that's the camera that it comes with on this one. That does not look like either of the two cameras that you see in the pictures. Okay, this is obviously the cheapest of the cheap. So, I think when they change the listings around, it really just depends on the price that you want to purchase. Um, this one had options. Um, this one was advertised as a 1080. Um, you could buy the other version, which again it says it comes with a 1200p FPV camera drone or camera and drone bag. I opted to go with base size um, I have no idea so anyway that's that's how it works so the battery on this thing is right here um, 900 milliamp hour 3.7 volt so there's the battery. Um, and it goes in like that. And there you go. So now, with the battery installed, let's bring these in just a little bit so we can get fit this on my scale. You are looking at 5.2 ounces. So now we're actually getting closer to the weight of the bottle. So, interesting. So the battery does weigh a little bit. So, but obviously it's still not overly heavy. So, if you're curious how much this thing weighs, it's about the amount of water it takes to get to the band on the bottom of the bottle of water. On the... Uh, 20 fluid ounce size. So yes, here's this. Um, I don't think it'll... Yep, yeah, there it goes. So this does have lights. Um, it doesn't seem to have a... lights on the rear. So yes, I got the red light, not headlight version of this. And the controller... It's supposed to be when you bind it. So the directions for this are in here. Let's see. It says download and install the app. So we could do that real quick, I suppose. 
and see what the video quality is on this thing. You know, I could have done this prior to starting the video, but I didn't really think about it, to be honest, because I haven't really looked at this thing lately. So let's see. Start scan. Bleep. Found URL. Oh no, my code scanner has stopped. So, it's entirely possible that this phone is just not going to do it. No, I don't want that. Wow, they really have a lot of... Uh, junk on here. Alright, so that's not going to work, so... I'm going to have to go into the App Store manually and look for FYD FYP or FPV. So F FPV, there it is. I will install this. So while that is downloading, take a look at this. Okay, so the directions clearly say when you are doing this, you're going to install the batteries. We've already charged it. turned off. Go ahead and grab the batteries. Ba -ba -da -da -da. No worry, I'm going to be doing a 3D printing video here shortly. I am actually in the process of getting things set up for that. Um, I'm going to be doing the Michael uh, Fideli um, R2-D2, so don't give up hope. I'm not switching to, like, wish videos and stuff. I just happen to be fixated on them right now. So, so as you can see, there's no light. Okay? So, you're supposed to... It says... You put in the batteries, drone battery installation, preparing for takeoff. Alright, so up and down, yada, 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 that's great. Why don't we... <clears throat> we did that. Pull the acceleration lever to the lowest setting and turn on the remote control. So the acceleration lever is this one, I presume, or is it this one? We're going to try this one. Just keep in mind, this did not work the other day. Um, they did refund me because it didn't work. I did take it apart to see if I could make it work. I don't know if it will. That's my disclaimer. still not working. That makes me feel good because I was getting a little nervous there for a second. So pull the accelerator lever to the lowest. Turn on remote control and switch lever to the highest then pull back down and get to the lowest. That would be a neat sound. Alright, so we'll try it this way.
I'm going to try one more time. Down. Up. Down. Okay, no beep. Okay, so we're just checking. So we're going to pull the battery out. Let's see if this is uh, launched. Yeah, sure. Asks a lot of questions. Can I do this? Can I do this? So let's see. Now oh, it's got a little mini. Uh, it's got a simulator on the phone. That's kind of cool. Later. So now we'll go to play. Okay, how do you pair this thing? That would be the question. Oop. Apparently the app crashed. All right, so it wants me to update, so I guess I'll update the app. I expect this is probably the language setting, I'm hoping. Well, apparently it's not going to let me do anything. I have no idea what these settings are. That's awesome. Oh, there's English right there. So if you get one of these, the toggle switch here is for English. Please connect drones Wi-Fi. Okay, how do I do that? Auto save perimeters, reset, right hand mode. So we'll check the Wi-Fi. What is this, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? I'd love to see. Connections. Bluetooth. It is not Bluetooth. At least it's not broadcasting on Bluetooth. Let's check Wi-Fi. Oh my, I think it is, actually. That one. connected to that one. Now we're going to launch the app. See if I can get a good representation of the camera. Oh, there it is. Apparently it doesn't still won't control it through the app at present. Take off. I'm glad it didn't do that, otherwise that would have been awkward. What does this do? No, forward. Stop. Okay. Neutral. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? Okay, we're going to exit out of that and come back to it. There we go. Stop. I have no idea what this thing's doing. Actually, the camera doesn't look too... Whoa. Well, it makes me look very red, but... Um... 
We'll have to do some video tests on it. Oh, let's see. <clears throat> well, it does connect, which is nice, but it is definitely not doing anything specific in terms of moving around. <clears throat> which again, I'm probably grateful for because that would be somewhat awkward. Apparently, it will take off. That was funny. Ow. <laughs> well, I didn't break anything. I think I'm going to stand back, though. Oh, God. Hi, Matt. I hit my finger with that thing. Okay, so the regular controls don't seem to work. If it's okay with doing the... the takeoff part. It's not okay with doing that. That's fine. I don't even... I don't get it. I mean, I can get it to do this, like that, hit the other microphone again. <laughs> Doesn't have a, oh crap, button. Yeah, I think I did too. This thing really is angry at me. Oh, neat. So, yeah, I mean, apparently this thing has voice commands. But I think at this point I have to actually uh, turn it off since I done messed that up. Well, we may have to do an outside video on this one. Ah, that did hurt. All right, enough fun with that. That was amusing. I'm sorry, I don't care who you are. That was funny. I get. I like to do my epic fails. Well, no chips on the blades. That's good. Let's see. Microphone looks. I don't care. Oh, there's a hole in that one. Okay, so I did cut a hole in my uh, little sock on the end there. <laughs> hey, Matt, since you're on, how's the audio sound? Is it better than it was? Used to be? Should have been? Could have been? Okay, so... Let's shut this app off. Let's connect back to this. All right, so we are back in. And you know what I did forget too, is it does have little bumper guard protectors that come with it. Um, I can show you that in a minute if you want. All right, so just up the volume. I can try to up the volume, but I can't guarantee what it's going to sound like. It may start breaking apart and clipping and all that. But give me a sec. Let's see what this does. All right, how's that? that is the maximum I dare go on this microphone. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, now I'm being rude. Sorry, my buddy Mark texted me and doesn't usually do that because he's always busy and uh, for those of you who do not know who Mark is Mark is Mark Tufo uh, Mark Tufo is the author of such books as uh, 
Zombie Apocalypse, and Indian Hill. Some really good books. Oh, he's sending me a video. Okay, I gotta stop doing this. Okay, so anyway, Mark's awesome, and he is also deeply into R2-D2, and 3D parts that he can work with. Alright, so I was looking at the camera quality on this thing, wasn't I? Let's see. Alright, so I don't really have a good way to do this. So I'm going to show you what the UI looks like. Okay. This is the interface. Okay. So this is me. So, I mean, that looks like it's pretty flyable, I would think. I mean, I think I could fly with that image. It seems to, it's a little bit of a delay to it, but it's not horrible. So, all right. Enough playing with this thing. My phone is getting ridiculously hot. And I, it might explode. There's no telling. And it's low battery. Oh, all right. So we're gonna get back off that. We're gonna put our phone down so we stop being rude, because that's just plain rude. Unless we're videoing with it. Okay, battery like literally comes out like this. You just look at that. Is that chintzy or what, dude? One good crash and this thing's just it's gonna crap out like a poop. So But now what I really wanted to look at, I will show you. This is not gonna be a hugely long stream. Probably thankfully to you guys, I know, because this is probably not the most exciting of things to talk about. But I find it amusing nonetheless. Besides, you guys love it when I break stuff. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five screws. I can't mess that up, right? Five screws. We got a trusty little screwdriver kit right here that I've bragged about on my channel before. Matt only listens to me because I put him to sleep. Just FYI and for the record. All right, let's see. Have you ever just wanted to take things apart just because you can? Yeah, me too. And then it's putting it back together. Oh. I do not have a screw container. Well, I guess I do now. Hopefully I don't scratch my dollar magnifying glass. But you know what? It'll hold these screws, so I'm okay with it. So and when I got this uh, um, drone, the controller turned on one time. One time only. And I was very happy. The bad thing was at the time my daughter, my little the my littlest one, was taking a bath. And I figured, oh, you know, while she's taking a bath, I will do playing with my drone. And uh, yeah. It didn't work. I was very bummed. Screws are out. Ready for the stuff to fly all over the place? Well, that was anticlimactic. Huh. All right.
Alright, so items did not fall all over the place. So, we'll make it. Ah, look at the buttons falling out. Okay, there we go. Alright. There's the shell. Ooh, boy, this thing does smell like electric. Hmm. solder? There's a bad joint on here. I mean, this thing really doesn't have much to it. Looks like it got a little bit of water damage at some point though, the bottom of this thing. Some kind of moisture. <coughs> I don't know what the tape's for though. Unless there's something... There's nothing metal on it, so I don't get what the tape's for. So, curiosity. When I did get this, and it wasn't working, I did take the controller apart once. Just, you know, because. Um, these tabs were not all pushed down. So it was the, the, there was a lot of wiggle in the battery, so I thought, oh, maybe that's what's wrong with it. It wasn't. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Oh. Well, I guess that would help, wouldn't it, if I had this in the right slot? So the colors are right. What? Do I use Wish a lot? Um, on and off. I wouldn't say I use it a lot, <clears throat> but I have made lots of purchases on it. <clears throat> I mean, so do I use it a lot? I guess I just said I use it a lot, didn't I? to not 
use this for a while. Or change the battery, or I don't know what's going on with this. sense. I know. I really love to just do things and like not talk at all. You'd think I would. Sorry, I'm looking. Hmm. Hmm. I may have to do this later. See, this is the downside to not being used to this particular voltmeter. So this should be six then. So why didn't it come up with anything? These are 1.5 each, correct? Yeah, so that should be reading six. Which I did, I set it for six. Sorry. All right, so I'm not getting six volts. I tried this both different or both ways and I'm still not getting six volts. So I don't understand. Let's pull this out. So I'm getting 1.5 volts there. silly as if it was just a really bad connector on this. Alright, so I'm going to connect these in a line like this. I'm going to set this to 6 volts. And I'm going to see if I can get a reading on this. 
they should they should read at six volts. Six point one five volts. So yes, it does read six point five volts. So when I plug them in here, I should be getting the same reading. Let's see if I can get that. I did smell the electrical though, so I'm not convinced. Yeah, let's see how I'm not. Oh, you know what? That might help. Where does it come out? So that's the pin for that one, that's the pin for that one. Okay, so pin here, pin here. Hmm. Interesting. So I'm not getting six volts there. Should be getting six volts on y'all, and I'm not. All right. So I guess the last thing we can try. getting good contact somewhere. I should be getting six volts from here to here. And that is not happening. I'm not even getting a reading on this. So I switched to 1.5 volts. Definitely getting that. It says overload, so that means I must be getting somewhere in the neighborhood Wow, that is just sad. All right, so too much. Well, how did I get too much on that? There's no way. Nope, I can't be going over six volts. There's no way that's happening. What? <laughs> But it's saying there's an issue there. It's 1.5. Nothing. 1.5. So here. Okay, so there is a issue somewhere. I mean, it seems like I'm getting voltage from that, but I'm not getting anything from there or there. Alright. One of these things is not like the other. Interesting. Okay, so there's like nothing going on here. What exactly were they thinking when they did this? Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is really, really funny. Is that broken? Maybe not. this for a couple more minutes and then we're going to call this the end of the stream. So for right now, 
I need a tool. I need this tool here. And what is in this tool? Not the tool I want. That is what's in this tool. Ugh. This is for another video. When I modify the Instone Adventure Pro 3D printer. What did I do with it? Ouch. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it either. Oh, this is, this is, oh, there it is. Ah, ha. Ah. If, if you can't read that, soldering iron kit. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> it's gonna be a really, really short cable. All right. And as I said, they did refund the money on this so I get to play with it now and I also get to wait for this thing to power up 110 volt 60 watt and I can adjust the temperature in Celsius right now I've got it set at 200 degrees Celsius <sighs> <laughs> I like a little plastic tip too. Ah, all right. I promise I will try not to burn my hand off. Cut cat hair on everything. This thing really stinks, just so you know. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna end up melting the plastic before I melt this. flimsy contact by the way. Just want you to know that. And there is two. Now we can unplug this thing. put it somewhere where I do not burn myself, which is most likely what's going to happen because I don't want to do it. Alright. I need a tool. the creativity oh yeah I, I melted that plastic I did I did my fault though because I got a little overzealous and skished it just a little too close to the uh, thingamajigger doohickey it's still it'll still work though now that I want this. Come out. Come. Okay, so that one is bridged. All right. This one's not. This one should be. It is. But oh my God, that is flimsy metal. Yeah. 
You know, I could always make something out of this and turn it into a, uh, like a battery storage compartment. Alright, so the first... Oh. Pop! And... Come on. Pop! There we go. They are now all removed. Yep, there's my uh, melt job, if you can see that. Probably not very well. It's right here. Yes, that is what I melted. Very, a very good job of melting. Hmm. Now, the question. Do I want to make something? Or do I just want to test this and see if it works? I think we should test it and see if it works. Or, I don't know if I want to use the solder, though. But, we can try it. <laughs> oh, let's see. Got a good connection. Good connection. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking. I wonder if I should use some tape on this sucker. Nah, we'll try and do it without it. All right, so button on and <laughs> it's gonna blow. Okay, so we know the electronics are okay. We now know that there is a insufficient battery contact from something. <sighs> Interesting. So, how do we want to do this? want to use this or do we want to make our own controller? That's the question. Because I'm betting I could get a 6 volt or 4 1.5 volt um, battery compartment thingamajigger Unless I already have one, which I do not see in this box of goodies. Let's see what we got. Oh, these are solar panel, uh, well, what do you call them? Blocking diodes for solar panels. This is for a different project that I was working on. Because, you know, I love come up with ideas and not deliver on them because that is the way I roll. Oh, that light still works. Pop it light. I have one up there underneath the, uh, the shelf. Mm. Okay, so I do not have what I'm looking for in this spot. But, I can't give up. Ooh, you know what? That might work. <sighs> yeah, but that would be permanent. I don't know if I want to do permanent yet. What's in here? Extruder parts. Display stand. Yeah, we'll keep that up there. Alright, what else we got? What else? Oh, that's right. You know what? We have a really big box of stuff. Let's see what's in there. Wah. This box has other tins in it. 
Don't judge. You never know when you're going to need something. And the very fact that I'm looking for something probably indicates that I have that something somewhere. It's just not where I want it. So, perhaps this is going to be the new project. Oh, I mean, I got one of these thingies here. But this is entirely too many amps. This is a 12, or <laughs> amps. Er, this is a 12 volt um, from one of my other helicopters to power the uh, remote control. Okay. So I do not see it right now. Um, I will look for it. It might be in my toolbox, and it might be in another box. But I know I have one. I just don't know where it is. And that's not going to do us any good today. Because I think I've got about four minutes before I sign off. So I'm going to look. Let's look at Amazon real quick. And call it a... Eh, eh. A double A six volt battery holder. There we go. Wanna see this? Ho ho ho! I'll show ya. Boom. Just like that. So they got these. And they got these. I could get this. This comes with. How does it? How did they call this three pieces? It looks like four pieces. <sighs> oh, okay. So. Uh, okay. I could probably use this in solder. I don't understand why. That's a 9 volt battery connector. I guess we could use it like a quick connector. Any opinions? Bueller. Bueller. <sighs> These are nice though. These are actually riveted connectors. I'd like to see the bottom though. What's the bottom look like? Uh, okay, so that's the bar going across the back. Hmm. Okay. I don't think that's necessary for a three piece set. But, I mean, if it came with two of these, I would be okay with it. But it comes with one of this, this, and this. I think. Three pieces, four battery holder with three pieces, nine volt type snap connector plastic housing. <coughs> I don't like this style, they're too much of a pain. Uh, I may have to go that route. Ooh, this one's got six pieces. And this one's got a battery cover. It should be an interesting project to put together. I might could 3D print something for that. <coughs> Maybe. 
going to do a lot of measuring. Oh dear, is that an ONOFF button? Oh, oh I think it is. That is. That's got an ONOFF switch on it. Oh, that's fantabulous. I like that. That's weird. Why didn't I show it on this side? You know what I don't like about things like this? It's like you get like two different pictures. It's like, which one is it? It's either got it or it doesn't. Oh, okay. So it's got the on-off switch on the other side? Oh, see, that's no good. No bueno. Let me just use this, I suppose, like that. Oh, I dumped the push button out. Power button. A little bitty tab. To keep it from popping out. This could be something. Hmm. Two A AA battery holders. Yeah, I think we'll just go with one of these. I'm not gonna buy one of these though for $7.99. That's ridiculous. I get five of these. Then I gotta make a battery cover. Two of these, and it comes with a battery cover. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Oh, I guess we'll go with this one. What do you think? Now that one's got the on off switch on it. I don't want that. I just want a cover. Oh, they all have on off switches on them. This is a six pack. Red wires. Leads on off switch with cover six pieces. Now, this one's got a screw, so I wouldn't have to do that. Maybe that's the best way to go. It's a six pack for $8.99. Mm. Just don't like it. got but they work great as I needed a compact holder for double A batteries they might be cheap but they work do we really care do we want to like soup this up beyond I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is a, this is my process for everything I buy on Amazon. By the way. Oh my God! Plus three dollars in shipping. Ah, you lost me. So I can spend the same up here that I would be spending here on one. That's silliness. All right. Buy it now. Okay. So, we've officially opted to buy it now. So now, I will have to work on a 3D project for this, or 3D printing project. So, we have hit our hour, and uh, we did accomplish some. Discovered that the harness for the batteries was faulty, so that's good. So, bad conduction, bad conductivity, 
Um, so it's nothing, it doesn't look like it's permanent. We did establish that the drone itself works, um, sort of, with the use of the phone. Hello, Matt. Welcome back. I'm getting ready to get off now. Was, uh, I just purchased some uh, of the eight, well, I just bought a six pack of six volt AA battery holder thingies. So I got to design a another one of these, or what I may do is take a Dremel and cut this out and then slide the other one in and then reuse the existing case. It might actually be easier to just Dremel this and put the new one in and just use lots of super glue and hot glue. Well, there's nothing wrong with Taco Tuesday ever, even if it's on a Friday. My kids love Taco Tuesday. But, so we will decide whether or not to reinvent the wheel or whether we will keep this project as is. Um, I really don't like this controller. It's got a lot of wasted space. However, it is usable. I don't like to waste things that are made of stuff. So, I will have to think on this long and hard until the time that the replacement battery compartment thingy comes in. Oh. At which point I will have to commit to a decision. But I don't have to make a decision this minute so oh and I put that button in backwards are you kidding me or did I yeah I did I thought that these buttons would actually have a preference in direction but they do yeah I know man that's what I was kind of thinking about doing was 3d printing a new controller I haven't decided yet I'm kind of on the fence about it I mean, that's a lot of effort, and if I do it, it's going to take time away from me getting uh, R2-D2 started, because, well, right now, I think Jenny is the only printer that I can use for the R2-D2 parts, because the FT5 is still not quite up to par yet. I've been messing with it on and off, but i got to take it apart, sort of because there's some parts that are now loose on it from just being moved around as often as it has. And honestly, I'm not all that in a hurry to get it working because, well, right now I don't have really have the space for it. So, and my build plate on the Jenny cracked a few days ago when I was uh, working on a paid project. So, I have to get the build plate replaced with something other than the glass that I've got on it now. And yes, my eye is closed. It is burning right now. I get these dry eyes once in a while, so... And I just didn't feel like stopping to get a tissue while it tears, so it's easier to just close my eye while I work. Just messes with my depth perception a little bit. So... All right. So thank you again for attending another episode of me droning. Um, I like Matt's idea. We may end up having to... Uh, excuse me. We may end up having to 3D print another one of these. Maybe. I do want to fly this too, and the weather's getting nice outside, so I'd really like to get this done quickly. The 
battery holders will be here in a matter of days, whereas 3D printing and designing this thing is probably going to take me longer than that. Because I don't have a lot of time to sit down and do all the measurements. But that, and I'm not really sure how well that printer is going to handle doing the, the small guide pins for the board. But we can see. I mean, I could have ordered this the slim uh, battery pack, and I could have gotten two, and I probably could have cut this thing in half. But which would have made it like this small. But either way, I'm done. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the uh, <clears throat> the criticism and the critiquing and all the input that you guys give me over the uh, life of this channel. I appreciate it. Um, there is a consideration of rebranding my channel because, I mean, honestly, I've been not really doing huge amounts of 3D printing lately, but what would be just drill? Oh, yeah. There is that as well. Well, that seems like cheating, Matt. I don't know that I want to cheat. If I'm going to do it, I want to do the whole thing. You know, I'll get that. Do every single little bit of, you know, designing. And then I could brag and say, ah, I designed this. I do need to work on the designing component of things because I'm still not there yet. Regardless, though. I do appreciate you guys watching. Um, I don't know what the next video is going to be. Yet. Is the operative word. I know we, we were talking about doing this. So we could make this a kind of a part two in the series. And then. The world is our oyster. So. Until next time my friends. I'm signing off. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time.